Thank you for the introduction. Uh, today, I would like to talk about uh, cardiovascular signal processing for biomedical and security applications. Uh, first, I would like to talk about uh, background in this study. Uh, there are several cardiovascular signals. Uh, for example, uh, ECG, uh, electrocardiogram signals uh, derived from uh, cardiac action potentials. Uh, can be recorded using multiple electrodes on our body. Uh, additionally, uh, PPG, uh, photoprotismogram signals uh, can, uh, from blood volume changes uh, can be recorded using an um, optical sensor in a smartwatch. Uh, these cardiovascular signals are used for uh, several applications using the uh, critical information in the waveform. Uh, for example, uh, ECG and uh, PPG waveforms uh, can be applied to biomedical applications such as personal healthcare monitoring by a smartwatch and a smartphone. Uh, additionally, uh, ECG, uh, ECG waveforms can be applied to security applications, such as uh, biometric authentication uh, by, uh, by wearable devices. Uh, in this study, uh, we, focus, uh, we focus on the relationship between the cardiovascular signals. Uh, the signals are often avail uh, available in several and sometimes, sometimes uh, non-general channels, uh, uh, such as uh, multiple measurement methods and uh, multiple uh, measurement sites, uh, as I explained, uh, not only ECG from cardiac action potentials, uh, but also PPG from blood volume changes. Uh, <clears throat> additionally, uh, the signal waveforms are transformable. Uh, for example, uh, several researchers are uh, investigating the uh, transforming PPG signal to uh, ECG signal waveform uh, to uh, utilize the biomedical knowledge uh, based on the uh, frequency-based approach. Uh, by using the relationships, uh, <coughs> the critical information in the waveforms uh, may be estimated uh, by, uh, by stress recording uh, as non-general channels. Uh, therefore, uh, uh, the investigation of uh, relationships between the cardiovascular signals is important for biomedical and security applications uh, with countermeasure. Uh, we target uh, uh, skin vibration as PEPG signals. Uh, PEPG is a uh, piezoelectric plethysmogram uh, can be uh, recorded using a uh, piezoelectric effect and uh, skin vibration from blood volume changes. The PEPG has uh, advantages of uh, low cost and power consumption. Uh, additionally, uh, if uh, PPG will have more uh, PEPG will have uh, more advantages if the signal provides uh, the same waveform as ECG and PPG waveforms based on the uh, relationship between the cardiovascular signal. Uh, we assume the uh, possibility of PEPG signals to estimate uh, ECG and PPG signal waveforms. Uh, based on the relationship between the uh, cardiovascular signals, uh, the ECG and the PPG signal waveforms uh, used for uh, biomedical and security applications uh, may be estimated uh, skin vibration, uh, PPG signals uh, as non-general channel. Uh, we conducted an experiment uh, to uh, investigate the estimation of ECG and PPG waveforms uh, from uh, PEPG signal uh, skin vibration as non general channel. Uh, we used a uh, public data set, uh, including uh, ECG, PPG, and PEPG signals from 12 participants in resting conditions. Uh, <clears throat> uh, we investigated the estimation of uh, ECG from PEPG, uh, PPG from PEPG, and uh, uh, ECG from PPG to compare with the others. Uh, our experimental procedure has two steps, uh, training and testing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I would like to explain the steps using uh, PEPD to ECD as an example. Uh, in the training, uh, we generated a regression model uh, as a matrix uh, using uh, ECD and PEPG skin vibration from uh, experimental participants uh, except the target person. Uh, we applied uh, Pre-processing such as uh, segmentation by peak detection and normalization uh, to the signal. And then we apply uh, ECT, a discrete cosine transform to the signal uh, 
uh, uh, frequency-based approach. Uh, then we uh, generated a regression model. In the testing, uh, we estimated the target person's ECG signal. Uh, we applied the same pre-processing and the ECT to the uh, PEPG, a uh, skin vibration from the target person. Uh, then uh, we used the uh, we used the matrix as an input for the uh, generated regression model. Uh, then we uh, applied inverse ECT to the uh, matrix to obtain the estimated uh, ECG signal waveform. Uh, we conducted uh, the same procedure uh, by tuning the number and com uh, combination of participants for the training uh, to obtain the average value of performance matrix. Uh, I would like to show the uh, uh, results of estimation. Uh, here, uh, the left one is uh, <coughs> ECG from uh, PEPG, and the right one is PEPG from PEPG. And uh, the, estimated signal, uh, the estimated signal waveforms uh, had a similar tendency of increase and decrease to the uh, true signal waveforms. Uh, we computed a uh, mean absolute error, MAE and uh, COR, uh, uh, between the estimated and true signal waveforms as a uh, performance metrics. Uh, in terms of metrics, uh, PEPG to PPG achieves a uh, uh, better performance than ECD. And then uh, we investigated the relationship metrics and uh, between uh, relationship between uh, metrics and the number of participants for the training. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, you can see the improvement of uh, metric values uh, by increasing the number of participants for the training. Uh, additionally, uh, PEPG to PPG uh, achieved the best performance among the three conditions, uh, including uh, the difference methods. Uh, we evaluated the estimation results. Uh, uh, inter uh, MA and CORR from uh, PEPG to PP uh, ECG were similar to uh, PPG to ECG. And uh, PEPG to PPG achieved the best performance among the three estimation conditions in terms of, of MA and CORR. Uh, we thought that uh, these results might be because uh, PEPG and PPG are from the uh, same uh, origin, uh, physiological phenomenon, a blood volume changes in your finger. Uh, meanwhile, uh, there are several experimental limitations. Uh, well, one of them is that uh, all signals uh, used in the ex experiment were recorded stably uh, using a, a con by contacting sensor on our body. Uh, therefore, uh, in our future work, uh, we will record uh, cardiovascular signals in a contactless manner, uh, such as a camera for skin color changes during heartbeat and uh, uh, Wi-Fi router for uh, skin vibration uh, uh, during heartbeat. And uh, additionally, uh, we should evaluate the experimental results uh, using uh, critical uh, biomedical and security metrics for uh, concrete applications. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, yes, uh, for concrete uh, applications, uh, such as uh, arrhythmia indicators and uh, biometric future values used for uh, the authentication system. Uh, I would like to conclude my presentation here. Uh, we focused on and assumed uh, two items. Uh, the first item is the transformability of cardiovascular signal, a signal waveform uh, for biomedical and security applications. And the second item is the uh, uh, possibility of skin vibration as PEPG signals uh, to estimate ACG and PPG waveforms. And uh, we conducted an experiment based on the uh, two items. Uh, we used a uh, public data set, including ECG, PPG, and PEPG signals. And uh, we, uh, we estimated the uh, ECG and the PPG waveforms uh, using a frequency and regression model based methods. Uh, as a result, uh, we succeeded in the estimation, especially in PPG waveforms from PEPG signals. Uh, in our future works, uh, we will uh, investigate this estimation uh, using uh, various recording conditions uh, and uh, evaluation metrics. Uh, thank you for listening.